Oh, fuck off first. Hey, you guys, we are here. I am so glad to be back, y'all. We've been uh, on a hiatus for a live for uh, a minute. Let me get this off here. Hey, family, what's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, what's going on? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Never get behind this table. <laughs> the, uh, what's up, family? What's Ooh, up? Y'all, we are back. We are back, oh, y'all. Yeah, you have the camera down at an angle so we can see right. Well, don't worry about that. You, you, who you is? You is your mama, son. Yeah, hey. see, man. So y'all, we are back. Come on in, y'all. We're gonna get started. Y'all speak when y'all come in the check. Y'all, y'all know it's been a while. It's been a while since we've been live, y'all. We've been on a high eight. actually, to be honest, let's do first. Let's do a microphone check. Can y'all hear us? Okay. Um, press one. Press hey, one. hey, yeah. Can y'all hear me? Press one, one, two, one if y'all can hear us, okay. Just give us a one. What's up, Unc? See, Unc. Uh, who called me Unc? Oh, uh, <laughs> why you got? Why you can't call her Auntie? Why I gotta be Unc and she gotta be Coco? Y'all be <laughs> hating. Me. They be straight up hating against me. That's no, they, all. Uh, don't, they don't. They be mess. hating. Okay, oh. good, good. Y'all hear us? Okay, good. Appreciate that. So y'all come on in, y'all. We got a lot to vent to, uh, a lot to vent about on tonight, honey. Y'all, um. We're going to go and get started in just a minute. Come on in. And y'all let us know where y'all from. I appreciate all of y'all. Let's see. Sissy, go ahead. Call out the names. Uh, Daph Daphne. Let's see. Debbie. Uh, go ahead. Uh, I will say it's Cela H. A. Martell. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Somebody call you Martell. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Man. Tigger. Daphne. Debbie. Uh, you know I'm gonna mess up names. Uh, Liz, uh, what's her name? Liz, who? L uh, Lamore, Mac Lamore. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm taking a black card from. Me? This, no, Liz, I'm taking a black card. Oh, card. Liz, I'm yeah. gonna drop the link so you can come on up. Uh, Dakota, Anisha, Callaway, Debbie, Kaylee. Oh yeah, I love tearing some names up. Yeah, you do. That's up, all right, baby. Man. It's all right. That's right. It's all to the good it in the sure hood. Is. It's all to the good. Hey, K Foy. Yeah, it's all good. In yes, you are giving your black card up. Ooh, Vanessa. Vanessa, Vanessa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, black card tool. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, we finna get started. I was trying to pull up the stream on um on another computer, y'all. So uh, a lot of the reason why let me just stop honey for I slow up the internet. That's what, uh, um a much. lot of a lot of the reasons why uh, we haven't been live because it just be so much for me to set up a whole lot of stuff. Honey. For, for us, no, for me, it, it be a lot. It be a lot. So y'all, that's why I be like, "Ooh, child, honey, going live be a whole freaking job because I have to do so much." But now I got so a, a little bit um, to where I don't have to do so much. Yeah, okay? we don't have to do so much. Hallelujah! Why you keep saying me, me, me? Hey, me. Leonica, what's up? What's up? Okay. Hey, Kristen. Child, let's see, Betty. What's up, y'all? I miss y'all. I ain't gonna even lie. So I dropped the link because um cousin Lee is gonna uh hit that link and come on up here, y'all. Yeah, she ain't no cousin no more. Yeah, she no, she's she still ain't. cousin. What's uh, up, Instagram? We see y'all. Come on in, Instagram. You see Instagram at? I know, babe. I told you. I did. Yeah. But they right here, oh. but you know, I got on that. All the technology. So yeah, we're streaming on a lot of different uh platforms. We so, are yeah, definitely see. I thought he knew that he'll be doing that. Anyway, Chad. Okay, yeah, hey, we set it up. Ooh, oh yeah. now Vanessa <laughs> Vanessa, she is so funny. Girl, you always have me tipping up in the chat. Yeah, guys. Vanessa or Kumagate or Kumagate or Kumata. Oh, come to <laughs> <laughs> this is my first live sister. Well, come on, welcome, 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 y'all. We're finna get started. Uh, what are we gonna we're talk finna... about first? Okay, so I'm waiting for uh cousin Lee to click that link and she probably uh she just trying. relaxing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Trying, trying there she go. Hey, where's your black card at? Give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be hanging. <laughs> What's up? What's up, cousins? 
Hey. Live. We live, okay? Can you see this from that California sun? You see that? You see that? The melody Man. catching all that. Inglewood. Ing catching okay. all of it. Mm -hmm. What is that Inglewood up to no good? What song? Up to no on? good. That's how we do it. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah, up to no good for real in the hood. You know what? <laughs> you can be a, a Vanessa not supporter and still not like Chaz either. You know what I'm oh, saying? That's fine. Like, I, I don't. I don't have to support. I don't support her necessarily. I just think that you know the hate, the the hate that you have for her. I'm like, come on, really? cuz. Yeah, I hate Vanessa. I don't have Vanessa whatsoever, man. I just disdain. No, I don't hate her. Not at all. Is it disdain? This mistrust? I would say I don't feel like she's authentic. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion. You can't have the summit. We've been here since the end and we saw it before you scooted back. Please tell them. We've been so a child. You act like honey. I, know, I, I want people to think I have a six pack. Man. What? Well, baby, they have been new deck. Was a lie? No. They no. do. The six packs in the fridge. Because. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Right here. Right. <laughs> what else? That's a little like a Dr. Pepper. The little okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, Chad. That's it. The little, little belly right there, honey. So, but anyway. Bit. All right. So, we're going to go and get started. So, do y'all want to start at? You want to start at with uh, married at first sight or ready to love first? Because I think that most people may come over here for married at first sight. So we don't mm -hmm. go. On, let's do ready to love. Let's just go on, get that out the way. Well, Sheila said Ed went over there, and now he's shaming Vanessa. So typical of a black. Man. No, it's a difference. I never got married. I never had kids with that person. Okay, I went over there to investigate, and you know, and, you know, you try to do a little research. And I came you, back. You was over there with the male sapiens. Don't even try it. I'm just, I'm serious. I did, man. I went there, did a little research, and did a little like, okay, okay, that's how they roll, and that's it. But I did not invest and get married, and I didn't do all that. No, Vanessa did. Then when she want to come back over here, now she wants to be pro black because it didn't work out on the other side. I, I stayed who I was. Black. Right on the other side. I feel like so she wanted to. I I feel like she wanted to at least that something must have happened inside of her in that marriage, where she felt like part of her wasn't fulfilled, right? And if you come to that realization, then you should have the opportunity to be like, you know what? I there's part of me that feels like I need to connect with my man and have that common ground, right? I feel like maybe that was her motivation. Well, that sounds all good and dandy, but I don't think that's the case, man. Uh, <laughs> you know, you know, this this woman was married to this man, had kids by this man, so she saw something there for her to lay down and have kids by this man. So, uh, but yeah, don't when I went up, when I went over there to the other side, I stayed true to who I was. Okay, she had to conform to me. I didn't conform to her. It seemed like to me, Liz conformed to him. Then all of a sudden, it didn't work out. Now she's gonna try to train. Wait, wait. Now, how did you get Becky to conform to you? Because I'm, I'm curious. You care? Okay, yeah, sure. Okay, you know how you get so. Right. Well, Becky was a little slash Becky with a little Bushiba in her. You know what I'm saying? Bushiba. You know what I'm saying? She had a little. She had a little spice to it. I know uh, she did. Yeah, she. I she, think so. Uh, she, she was spice. She it was, was table salt. That was the spice. Oh no. <laughs> She had a little flair to her, okay. You know, she be you know, she listened to our type of music, she went to our type of events, okay. So, what okay. That mean? She didn't do the hunting like uh, Vanessa old man did, he didn't, she didn't do all that, you know. So mm -hmm. she was like more in, in our culture, if you if you know what I'm saying. No, but I'm just saying, but that's all I'm saying. I stayed true to who I was, I stayed the black man, okay. What was the purpose of the research, Ed? If people want to mm -hmm. know. The purpose of research. I you want to see how they thought about us on that side, you know what I'm saying? Plus, I want to see what's the difference between a sister and a white girl. Okay. And I'm just being honest with you. So what's and the what's the difference? It's I a difference. It, what's it, a, tell me about think, three differences. What are the what are the top three differences? The main one from, from her, from what I've seen while I've dated her, was that she you know they more submissive. Okay. They are only for what I can tell from what I was dating. Okay. More submissive. Uh, they really 
you know, they really don't put up a, a, a fight, if you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying? They just, you yeah, know. Tina Marie. <laughs> yeah, Tina Marie. Thank you. Thank you. So who else said that? Vanessa. I don't know. I felt like Tina Marie was kind of spicy because she had to be. Yeah, she, just, she was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all I'm trying to say. The whole girl was kind of spicy, too. Okay, we can move on, Chad. I'm just yeah. saying. But anyway. No, no, I don't know if I'm buying it, Coco. I don't, I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's all I'm saying. There's a difference. Let me okay. Back over, I'm saying the camera. He's talking about that. He's people want to watch replay. You got people on Instagram. Shoot. What's up, Pete? And see, and that's the thing. So that's the difference. But all, only thing I said about Vanessa was just real talk. When she, the first episode, when she said, well, I got, I can't got my hair all braided up, so I'm going to be pro black and this and this. I said, well, what made you, you decide to be all pro black when, you're, when your marriage fell apart? You know, so I, was she being authentic? Was she being legitimate about it? I don't know. Well, she I has the right questions. to change her mind. You know, I, I'm people, not saying she people, don't. People have realizations right, at that. different times, right? There could have been that. something that happened and she was like, you know what? I can't deal with this white man no more. <laughs> I get that. Yeah, you're right. She has every right to change her mind and you know, mm -hmm. change course. I get that. But still, she, you know. But don't come over here and say that's the only reason why she... Only oh, pro black y'all y'all y'all. I just felt like it wasn't real. And to find out after all the the leak phone calls and she dating Dominique on the side, they let people know about that. And she, you dating if you dating Dominique, you dating this whole man on the side, but you chasing off the chair. That didn't make sense to me. She I was understand. keeping her options open. But she should okay, fine. But she should have told people that she was dating. Dominique, nobody knew about that to the last episode. But see, he was gone. You know what? Huh? He was gone, though. He had been voted off the and show. Still, you ain't ready to I, love. She still, and she kept in contact with him. But the point, yeah, she was still dating him when he was off the show. He's not in the competition no more. And she's not supposed he's to tell nobody. She's not supposed to do it. Yeah, but she's not supposed to be doing it. You so know how what? Tommy... You know how Tommy is. You know, when you're gone, you're not supposed to be dating people. So she had to kind of keep it on the low. Because but, he wasn't on the show no more. But that's scheming. Because the point is, you supposed to be dating people that's still on the show. She wasn't. Okay? There's wait, the wait. difference. Chaz had a whole fiance. I'm not saying Picking Chaz up. was right. I'm not yeah. saying Chaz was right. He was scheming too. They both were scheming. He was more wrong. No, ain't no more wrong. He was both wrong. He was more wrong. He, he had a... Oh, I'm the only <laughs> man on this thing. I got to take off for the men. I'm tired of y'all women bashing the men. You act like it's a whole panel of women, Chad. It's a whole it's just, it's just because it's just me. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> but, I, but, but, but if you were to look at it, would it be worse to have someone at home who you are dating seriously or engaged to that you left to come on a show or to be on a dating show and be dating someone who you met on the show, but you just didn't tell anybody. Which is because yeah. one of them is worse. Yeah. The point, point is, Liz, in my opinion, they mm -hmm. both was wrong. Okay. And my problem with the people in the comments is that Chad's wrong, Chad's wrong, Chad, but they don't they don't want to admit that Vanessa was wrong. She was wrong. She was scheming she also. You, so if you think she was wrong for dating Dominique and not telling nobody? I would think she was wrong for dating Dominique when he got kicked off the show. Because once you start dating somebody off the show, you're not giving the the process, the progress or the process your true attention. Because you're dating somebody completely off the show now. This man has been voted off the show, and she's still dating this guy. Like I said, they 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 both wrong, but he was more wrong. <laughs> He's more wrong. He's more more wrong. <laughs> All right, Liz. you know, like if okay. you would, like if you would, like if you and Coco get in an argument, they right? were both wrong, Liz. They yeah, were both wrong. They, Ain't no they, more wrong than no, no. He I mo, don't he agree. Mo with wrong. That. This is new name. Yeah. Mo wrong. <laughs> mo wrong. No, he, he ain't <laughs> mo wrong. No. He mo wrong. Mm -hmm. I think, I think my issue is where I just fell off with Vanessa because I did like Vanessa, but when I did hit a phone call, is that I felt like now she is this kind of like scheming. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying Chaz was just, you know, whatever, because I really don't believe that he got a fiance. I, I just can't imagine a woman that would allow, I would never allow Eddie to go over there and just 
frolic somewhere and then come back oh. and see if you if you like first it. of all man you, don't frolic okay what, what don't well, frolic. The, the mullet guy on love is blind he had all them text messages with that woman back at the house like i'm when i get off of this show i'm gonna come back and get you yeah yeah and he was wrong and there and there lies a problem with these shows now the, the cast members are trying to take the narrative and change it on their own now right. okay uh they don't treat these shows like they should treat them and uh and i think the producers and the and the directors or the so the producers need to do more vesting of vetting vetting these people on these shows now because they come in they come on these shows with the with uh they don't have the true they, the true intentions of coming on these shows to do the right thing you know you look at mary at first sight you know they took the <laughs> This whole scheming and plotting yeah, and yeah. all this all yeah. that's going on. You're lying. You're lying. Oh my. Right. I don't want to oh, talk oh. about it no more. You're lying. Right. You're lying. Oh. <laughs> so, but the thing is, they hurting the brand of these shows now because yeah. people are gonna say, okay, they faking it. They faking it. They ain't real. They faking it. So they're hurting the brand. But I mean, if it's they get, I believe shows really engaged. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. No. They. They. Um. But they're like recruiting people from Instagram. Yeah, or trying yeah. to, you know, further their own personality. But back in the day, when you watched Married at First Sight, they, they actually showed them filling out the application and going through the applications and doing all that. And now it's yeah. just, they don't even, they kind of have the photos already, which they could just pull off of Instagram. And it just, it doesn't, I don't know. Yeah, exactly, Vanessa. They're not reality anymore. Yeah. And they were already overproduced, but this is, the result of what happens when you really think you a star or a star in the making and you're trying to control what your image looks like and, and, and that's the thing some of these guys special people on uh, ready to love they get on these shows and now they think they're movie stars now okay right. and now they want to stay relevant you know what I'm saying you know you know your girl Vanessa, she got a little channel and she trying to stay out there in the limelight you had your 10 15 minutes of fame yeah. let it go just yeah. let it go, man. Yeah, see, y'all, y'all ain't in the even y'all ain't in the Facebook group with with Alonzo. I don't know if anybody else who's in here right now is in that Facebook group, but he is, sir. You are not a clown. You are the entire circus. He wow. comes in there and says things to try to bait people, and then wow. everybody comes out and he's like, "Oh, I love it. I love it. You guys are you guys are thinking of me? No, you keep coming in here." And making crazy comments and people are right. responding back to you so he's, well, the he's thing was, what thing well, with long ago you say that he he was in our comment section a couple of times go ahead. Go, ahead, no, go ahead go ahead go ahead say it. um yeah. and he kind of did the same thing he was like i didn't watch the video but da 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 or i see me on the thumbnail but da 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 and i he, just he get the pe- like yeah he wants to yeah he wants people to take the bait yeah like right. i don't care if you don't want to you know um watch the video with it i'm not going to talk to you back this is just red to love, okay? <laughs> Do you watch the, the viewership? They ain't number 200 some thousand people watching. Well, yeah, then again, it's, it's, on not own, a million. it's on own network, okay? So, yeah, you know, yeah. but yeah, not just him. What, what's, your, what's your favorite boy? What's his name? Laround. Laround. Yeah, mm-hmm. Laround's mm-hmm. another one. You know, he, <laughs> for some reason, he thought he ran that, sh- that, that show. You know, he thought he was the captain of the ship. And I don't know who told him that, but no nobody put that dude in check and that's why i think he he feels like he can just go ahead and call women bees and do not cause nobody put him in check he called me one he did i told i told i told coco i think i sent you the screenshots didn't that coco Mm-mm. no no oh, oh yeah, yeah. On, on on twitter you mm-hmm. know then you know you know that'd be on twitter we have our community yeah. We're sharing, yeah. you know yeah. making jokes and stuff and so i was making this was like after the catfish episode and he was talking about oh you know i make video games or whatever and i make all this money and stuff and i was like haha maybe your next video game should be catfish capers where you know you go through the game and whoever gets the biggest pile of catfish you know wins the game or something just something stupid right just just making jokes and he said, well, maybe I should create a video game where I take your grandmother off of life support. What? What? Yeah, because, you know, my my screen name is a reference to my grandmother. Yeah, it is. It mm-hmm. is. Right. That you, I, I take your grandmother off of life support and he called me out of my name. What? He called me to be, oh, yeah, okay, I got the screenshots. I'll share it with you. And wow. I was like, 
dude, when is it ever that serious to come and call somebody out of their name? So then when it happened on the show with Maya, I was like, okay, this is a pattern for him. Right, you know, right. He tried to pin on New Jersey, but that's just how he is. He doesn't have any self-control and he wants to just pop off at somebody to make himself bigger. I, yeah, he got nothing going. He already big, child. He, yeah, but I know what you're saying. Yeah, it For seems real. like he he know who and who not to pop off at. You know, you no, know, he he like going off on the women, mm-hmm. and also uh, he, he pick on a little wheel because the wheel, like you said earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tell wheel is insecure. You know right. what I'm saying? You know the chain fake, child. You know all that stuff, whatever. But. We know I can sense that you know um, he feels like he has power over Will because he can smell his insecurity. Now mm-hmm. I haven't seen him go off on Chaz. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I hadn't seen him go off on somebody that you know Justin that said right. I didn't see him go off on nobody like that. You know, but he know who he can and cannot go off on. So he can take the right one and not win up out of him. Look at him sitting up mm-hmm. there with that little blue suit chat, ready to go to court somewhere because he's saying all this uh, stuff <laughs> and um, behind going to be behind bars and pleading the judge for uh, mercy. So yeah, ain't nobody well, saying him. I cannot believe he said that though. Well, you know what I'm saying? Sure. I, I, I hate that. You know, but he, See, he was trying to go off on all kinds of people on Twitter, and you know anybody could be a keyboard warrior, and he really right, is. Right. He let his mouth wow. do the talking. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. wow 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 all right so let's um because uh we kind of went through that so we know that let, let me go back so we know that this is vonessa this is her man i'm gonna stick beside this is my man so that's her man if that was her man why she chased my chads and stalking chads and chads you don't spend time with me you need to spend time why she doing that with chads if she already had a man well, you know what? You're, you're, she's weighing her options. What are you tapping me for, Chad? You should know. Don't tap me. What you tapping me for? You really well, want to tap me? Think about the show, I'm right? Sure. Like, they spread it over however many months for us. But for them, it's happening in a condensed time frame. So she could have been dating both of them for two or three weeks. And, you know, in the first two or three weeks, everybody can be kind of equal. And she's trying to see maybe which one... Um, was most suited for her. So, yeah, um, I, and she I, really I, had a thing with Chaz. Oh, she did. I she think did. So too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it, did you hear the recording, Liz? I oh, heard yeah. it. I felt like she was talking to somebody in the car about them making out or something and yeah. what she was going to do. I just, I didn't like fully pay attention because like, the thing I was focused on was him saying his phone got hacked. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We know that was a lie. Who said that? Um, Chaz. Chaz say what now? He said that his phone got hacked. And so that was the recording that yeah, she left. I believe with that. Him. But Ain't you know hack Chaz's phone. Hey, I get strange phone calls all the time. I'm thinking they're trying to hack my phone. So I can see that. Yeah, they, they hack it and then release a recording. Yeah, I can see that. Right. Yeah, um, yeah, but it. anyway, um, so yeah, so I don't believe that, but um, so yeah, basically she was just saying, you know, she was talking to one of her girlfriends was saying, Hey, you know, um, some some some, and she was like, Yeah, all alone, girl, I'm up there telling time, and oh my gosh, he has too many women, blah blah blah, whatever. But on the other end, I'm up here tonguing them down, you know, mm-hmm. um, and stuff like that. So she really and truly was into chance. I do believe that, but I'm not sure where it veered for. Him? Oh, I don't know why, because she started seeing him. That's why I'm just Yeah, and she started seeing him, and he probably like, okay, well, you going that direction, I'm going to go this direction. So you think like, Chaz knew that she was oh, seeing yeah. him? I think so, yeah. Oh, she why, found, why do you oh, think that? Man, everybody know everybody's business on these shows, Liz. I feel I'm like Vanessa would that. be more discreet, though. No, see, there you go. No. No, she's not that discreet, baby girl. No. no, but the other people on the show are less discreet. Like Chaz going to the uh, retreat and being all up on everybody else. Well, like see, Laron see, and see, Maya. See, who, not see, discreet. You like the Vanessa soft speaking. Somebody said, she, Ed, who hurt you? Ain't nobody <laughs> hurt me. <laughs> and they, uh, first of all, let me say this. Let me get this out of the way. Nobody hurt me. I do this because I always go against the grain. If y'all that like somebody... Great. I go against the grain. That's who I am. I try to make the. I try to make somebody. I try to make that point. You know, I try to make the opposite point. That's all I'm trying to do. Y'all on Team Vanessa, 
I'm going to be on team that's, chat. That's so right, Brian. Ain't team nobody hacked that phone. Yeah, he did. Somebody hacked that dude's phone. Yeah. There ain't nobody yeah. hacked that phone. Yeah. He ain't that important. Right. No, I ain't nobody hacking that. Yeah, yeah he, he found okay. to the brother. You know what I'm right. But anyway, so um, so y'all, Dominique, that's that's her man. That is her man. But she's gonna stick beside her. Vanessa told Chad she wanted to be um loved out loud, but Dom doesn't want to announce his relationship status. Sounds like he wants to keep his options open. Valid mm -hmm. point. Okay. Okay. See, Vanessa okay. fell for the okie doke once again. If she need to go back to the country, boy, now these streets are dangerous. <laughs> But you know, yeah. out loud means different things to different people, right? She wanted him, Chad, Vanessa wanted Chaz to love her out loud in front of the other contestants to on the video. show. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like to pick her because he was always up in somebody else's face and she was always asking him, like, are you into me? How do you feel about me? And he kept, oh, you, I bought you 24 flowers and everybody else got a dozen or you yeah, know I'm different. into you. She wasn't counting count no flowers. She if wasn't nobody else's bouquet. Roses, and I buy you 12 roses. That means I bought you 12 roses. That means you're more important to me. If you were dating two women at the same time, the, the one woman doesn't know how, how many flowers the other woman got. I probably tell them. I bought you little chick 12 roses. I only bought you six. That's how I rolled. <laughs> did you do that to Becky? Is that how you broke it up with <laughs> Yeah, actually, I did. It was the poke job that um, they canceled the deal. Uh, uh, the Rika said that he just wants to be combative. I don't know if, if she's talking about you or, or Chaz, but yeah, Eddie do be want to be combative. I promise oh, you. I do yes. not. People, before we started uh, oh. being official, you know, I had one girl inbox me and said, Who hurt him? But she was talking about him. You well, know I even saying? think people are hurt. Somebody hurt me. Nobody <laughs> hurt me. <laughs> you can't be hurt. I'm unhurtable. I'm very unhurtable. <laughs> no, I'm not going to say that. I can be hurt. Well, uh, let's go back to uh, now. Somebody said Maya has a new man now. It's not Loran. Yeah, oh, okay. it's um Chris from last season. Chris, Chris, Chris. Chris, Chris. I had I had to Google him too. He was a teacher. Once you Google him, you'll recognize him, but I could not call his face to mind. I had to Google Chris ready to love. Yeah, she go Googling. I know it ain't the Chris that that was uh talking about what he want women to uh no 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 no, no. not that not oh, the African one. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, oh no. you that oh little short Chris. Huh, who that Chris? Oh, right? oh okay, that make it good. Yeah, yeah. That ain't good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let, me, let me show y'all who's who. Uh, he's from Louisiana, I think. I think he's from Louisiana. He moved to Texas. Okay, all right. She must have met him at one of those uh, those Demo. little meetings. Yeah, like next I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, Chris. We see you. We see you, Chris. All right, yeah. Okay, yeah. I always thought he was a cool dude, man. Yeah, so yeah, good, good for her. I hope it works. So yeah. Uh, he seems real respect, respectful and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. You can't so, can you yeah. get more disrespectful than LaRound? No. Uh, ain't nobody. Yeah. That man. You know, after Myra saw dude, she LaRound for flipping tables and cussing people out because she dumped them. Cussing right. her out in her face, call her name, and then she had the nerve to continue to go back out with him. Yeah, that was really disappointing in my when she said she's going to leave the door open for that dude. Yeah. That was to me as a buster move he did. I was glad he doesn't want his privacy, but he d dates on well, dates on, Vanessa. Dates on Vanessa. You can tell in his interview and the one they did together. Yeah, we did one together. Mm, good for them. Mm. I appreciated yeah. you, Coco, when you were speaking into her about you know the fact that abuse starts somewhere and it don't get better, and that she needed to you know. Stop it now before it escalates. Maya, Maya uh huh. If somebody's gonna talk to you like that, and they barely know you. Because again, thinking about the fact that this is happening for over a couple months for us, but it's you know what, three, four weeks. They know each other a month. Right. Right. right, right. Exactly. And then I don't know if it was some some. I think it was on Twitter. Liz, don't you know when um I had posted that um meme about Maya? I was like, girl, you know what I'm saying. 
I can't believe you making this choice. And then somebody else mm-hmm. came up under it and she was basically saying, I guess she was, I don't know, she was team around, but she was going to bat for him. And she was saying, um, and you had brought out the receipts, basically saying, yeah, he did call her. What what she was saying? He didn't call her a B? Yeah, right. he was, yeah. yeah, he he said it on the show that he had called her out of her name. He gave it in the confessional, but then on this interview, a couple months later is this revisionist history and he's making up all this stuff. And so I found the segment like, no, this is what he said in real time during the show. He admitted that he called her that he laughed about it and he felt like she deserved it because you're not going to make me look soft, look like a simp and all that. He said he acknowledged that he Mm -hmm. said that to her and it wasn't edited wrong because they always talk about, oh, it's the edits. The edits made me look like that. You said it. And it aligns with your character for the whole show. Well, you should know, Liz, because like you said, he called you out your name. So mm-hmm. you should know firsthand experience, you know. But you got some people trying to take up to Laurent. I mean, Laurent, but. Mm. Oh, not well, in the, back to the Facebook group, the person who was taking up for him was actually him. He had created a different profile and was mm. in the Facebook group trying to defend himself. You see, you Wait, see man, how immature. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, that immature. That, that's very, very immature, man. Yeah. <laughs> he is an immature little boy. Oh, he's a good part. That's he, who he was. Him, he was referring to himself in the third person, like, "Oh, you know, LeBron did this. LeBron did that." And then he slipped up and referred you know to what? himself in the first person. It was somebody that I come here doing the same thing. Now I'm trying to wonder. Maybe that was him. I never seen that person before, and he was trying to take up for Laurent. Oh, right. Yeah. And he, said, oh, he got money. He ain't broke. And I'm, okay. Some, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Because people, when they start doing that, then you like, wait a minute, is this you? Because I mean, like you capping for these people like like hard. You know what yep. I'm saying? You don't even know these people. You just a commenter. Um. But anyway, so now let's move on. Oh, that goes chat. Laron La- La- did not do that. Okay, um, Chad. And kick okay, that pasta out. He yeah. didn't do what? Then Chad did a profile. Like who? Who else would defend him like that? They he, he got. You know him and Chad was pretty tight, so you know he's gonna take up with his boy. So I don't know why Chad. But anyway, let's move on, honey. Let's move on. Okay, so now. Chaz, I hope we had already talked about you. So, yeah, uh, I was trying to take it for you, bro, but yeah, it, you know, didn't it didn't work. Oh, man. Uh, came in for him. Mm-mm. Yeah, I was trying to take up for him. I was trying. I'm the only man on this on this panel. I was trying to take up for the men. It's a big panel, Chaz. Yeah, I know. Man, yeah, all these peoples. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so now let's move on because we're gonna uh, get on past this. We spent too long on the ready to look. Hold on, hold on, one more thing, one more. Let's now, talk about L- Lamar and them Ash Hanks. Yeah, uh-huh. uh, Nancy Lamar. That's Nancy Lamar. Just uh, now what's the old girl name? Mika. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I told y'all Mika was gonna make it to the end. I told y'all, y'all was hating on Mika. I said, no, nah, y'all gotta give this girl a chance, man. You know she's. She has her preference, and she was gonna wait, and she did the pro- the process right, and she got a man, and they look happy together. So, Liz, uh, what I want you to do is tell me, say, Eddie, you was right. You was I'll tell you when you're right. You was you you was right. You Thank was you. right. Thank you very much. I don't have Thank no problem. Much. See, I'm not a contrarian because if you right, you right. But if you wrong, right. you wrong. Well, but yeah, now, Mika, were, I, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Mika, no, I think Mika kind of flew under the radar right. and was filling people out because that kid thing definitely, you know, a lot of men had stepped back. But with um, oh boy, whose name is this? Chris, Sean, what's his name? Uh, Justin, 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 no. <laughs> none of the above. Well, yeah, Justin. yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, okay. I'll be interested okay. to see in the long term. Yeah. Well, but, well, like I said, you know, I think they make a good looking couple, mm-hmm. and I think Justin's a cool dude. Uh, you know, and uh, you know, yeah, we'll wait and see what happens in like six months, six months down the road. Yeah. But let's talk about our favorite girl, Alexis. Yeah, yeah, she got some anger problems. <laughs> <sighs> 
I just don't. I don't understand what when, when people get on here. I don't understand what the end game is. Like, what did you think you were going to accomplish by yelling at the camera, going off, not having a point? Like, it, she made it too easy for them to put her uh, in that kind of category of just wild, like um, Michaela on that one season of uh, Married at First Sight, that she flipping tables and acting crazy. And yeah, Alexis didn't do her, and she started off great. Yeah, she did. She did. She did. Uh, I just think with Laron and you know and the 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 scheming was going on. I just think it was just too much for. Her. And I think she had a, a real dislike for what's her name. Uh, oh, she. Yeah, yeah. And she's waiting for. <laughs> she wanted an excuse to just go off on her. In my opinion. Yeah, yeah. God, I can I tell you how I laughed. The last review, y'all called her everything but a child of God. Koisha, Kosha, <laughs> Kosher, Koisha. I thought I was saying it right because I was correcting him. That I still didn't say it right. No, you did not. Y'all called her. I mean, at this point, it doesn't matter because end of the season is my favorite. It's my favorite thing. I feel like there's other people who love y'all who love to see how y'all gonna chop a name up. Hey, you know. we from we from Alabama. It's, it's all good. country. They ain't got nothing to do with child. We just messed up folk name. It is what it is. I ain't got nothing to it's do. Don't blame me. Don't be like the round child. I mean, <laughs> <Jerry said. laughs> I ain't got nothing to do with us chopping up names, honey. So they said, don't put that on us, honey. How we get it? Um, so yeah, I can't believe I didn't call her um name right, Koshia. Yeah, we had one, I guess, honey, one of her relatives in the comments, honey. They broke it down. That is her name. She is a sweet lady, blah blah blah. And she's gonna act like she showed and show that uh show that side on the on the show because she she has some episodes herself, you know, going off on people. So I don't know, man. It's, it's something in the world in Texas, I think. Mm -hmm. You got she, people going crazy. She felt so, so unsafe. She was Alexis drunk and hungry. She was drunk and hungry. Oh, she was drunk. Somebody should gave her a, a Twinkie or something. So, yo, golly. Now she probably. Yeah. You know, yeah. Anyway. But, it's still but, but again, but here's the thing. Again, when we talk about looking at people through the whole season, it wasn't like she was, you know, measured and calm the whole season. No, and in this was. last episode, she just blew up. She had those moments throughout. So this yeah, wasn't I that agree. character. Right, right. I agree. Yeah, she was like that's her character. I think because you know, she, she was the type of person you know she was willing to pop off at any time, and she wanted an excuse to pop off with at at Koisha, 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 Koisha. Yeah. Um, Coco. Chad said that um they didn't get any food until late at night, and um we were all drunk off a of lift. The production wanted that outcome for her and others. I can believe that because that's what they're saying about Bravo. Some of the um the people on Bravo no, is lying too. Yeah, they keep them lifted up. You know what oh, I'm saying? Don't, don't feed them or something. You know? Yeah. yeah. But that's in her though, because it wasn't like that. She oh, wasn't yeah. hungry and Always. drunk all season. Right. I yeah. agree. Like, you yeah. They added yeah. fuel to the fire, but she had it. She had it in her. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um, so who else was on the right? Oh, I had put that. I'm See, look at her new like LinkedIn that, profile man. picture. <laughs> yes. I'm Why y'all doing her like that? That ain't right. I'm sure she would want that. I don't care how drunk or lick it up, child. This don't act like that. My goodness. Man. She should get $600 back in change from the rack. I don't know what they're talking about. But yeah, um, so yeah, she was going off. So anybody else on the red little cash chat y'all want to talk about? Uh, yeah, my boy, my Who? favorite, Will the Millionaire. Oh, let me find him on this. Yeah, what that real gold? I know he paid like what? There you uh, go. There you go. Yeah, right there. yeah, he paid five hundred thousand for that gold chain. Yeah, I can't tell him thing I real. Huh? Five hundred thousand what? Dollars for that gold chain he got not, on. Not American dollars. Yeah, American dollars. <laughs> Y'all be hitting so much. Man, we all got money. Look at him. Just look at him. I can't. I just. He was just. You know what? The problem I had with him when they when the rumors started about him sleeping on the floor. 
right? Instead of him being like, I want to go and ask these women and find out who said, he said, I'm ready for war. I'm a fine out. Like he went in there like extra aggressive. Like, bro, just if you that upset with these women, you just need to, you just need to go. Uh, well, I don't blame Will. I'll probably do the same thing. Don't attack my character, okay? Don't say I'm sleeping on the floor when I got millions and millions of dollars in the bank, okay? Now, I know I got money. So don't try to put that bad rep on me. So I don't blame Will. I've been going around asking every one of the women who said it. Sure enough, Will had. But that's like, there's a difference between trying to find out and being ready for war. It's ready for love, not ready for war. Come on. When it, when Come it comes on. to my character, it will be ready for war. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> not wow. <laughs> Who is Whoa. that? Somebody said Mika said they had food. Listen, uh -oh. did they have it or didn't they not have it, child? But bro, because y'all are saying they did not have it. So somebody said, What about nasty Lamar? Just what? nasty Lamar. Uh -huh. He said he's a Scorpio child. Let me tell you something. I'm a Scorpio too. Shout out to all the Scorpios that's in the chat. But uh Baby, I do not act like that. Come on now. You can't blame it on Scorpio child. We do not well, act like that. Maybe That's not maybe not the women Scorpio. Maybe the men act like that. Uh my son is a, a male Scorpio. You don't be with your son 24 seven. I know he don't act like that. I know he don't act like that. That's one I know that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So yes, hip them ankles tell it all right there. Just look at the yeah. ankles. Yeah. What, so, yeah. what made it like for him to say? to try to characterize, oh, well, I bring up sex because I want to make the women feel a little uncomfortable and that's just how I am. Does that mean that you don't have any other topics you could talk about with the women? Yeah. And so you just fall back on it like, oh, this is who I am? Well, yeah, that's a good point, ladies. I, I think one person is all they talk about sex. That's all, that's all they have. That's, that's, that's their conversation. That's it. They don't have no game. So they, they just hoping that you don't have no gain, so you know both y'all gonna be talking about sex. Exactly. You know, yeah. you know. So if you run across a woman that has more to offer, it's gonna turn her off. Oh yeah. I have mm -hmm. not been on dates, but I I have talked to guys, and that's initially what they talk about all the time. It's just such a turn off. Yeah, he didn't have anything else to discuss, and he tried to make it seem like the women were the problem if they didn't want to talk about it. Oh, they so uptight and all this. No, no, no. That's you, bro. There's more to talk about. So. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? It is so petty. That's what I used to call him. See, petty. And I said that when we were, we were still in the dating process, child. We was over there on Facebook, honey, in the comments, and I said, petty, petty. That's what I'm going to call you, petty, petty. So, yeah, that, that, that's who I am, man. I do it for fun, y'all. There's no malice behind it. It's all jokes. Eddie, I, Eddie, I need, a, Eddie need a shirt that says Petty Eddie. Put it in the co-ed yeah. store. That, that's true. Yeah, I need to get in that and uh, make that. So, yeah. Um, so, okay. So, what about um, Patrice and Alonzo? Alonzo's still young. And he's still chasing the women. And he should have just been straight up with Patrice, in my opinion. <laughs> said Chaz really unblocked me, guys. <laughs> yeah. oh, and I, I'm trying to figure out what Patrice saw in him. That's a good question. Because you, as like watching it, I'm thinking this dude is a clown at all times. He come in with that bonnet and he dressed like, I don't know, I, I feel like that's what JJ from Good Times we dress like in the modern day, and oh, yeah. he he just seemed like a, a a clown the whole time. And Patrice seemed to have her stuff together. Like the date that she went on, um, the family date, and I think it was her brother or one of them family members was looking at him, like you don't have nothing going on for yourself, sir. You can't even be serious for a moment. You meeting somebody's family. You're supposed to put your best foot forward, and he couldn't even do that. So. I don't know what she saw in him. She yeah, have fun. yeah, that's what got me. She, oh, he's so fun. He's fun, and sometimes, sometimes run out. Okay, so what? What else do you have to offer than fun? Okay, uh, so yeah, that, that, that right there got me with Patrice. But she showed, uh, she showed, uh, turned down Chad. Did she? Chad, you are not the man. Chad went there running like, <laughs> like what? <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> 
Oh, more. It's more phobic. Yeah, the California chat. <laughs> I'm going to take this rose and I'm going to plant it and take yeah, care but, of hey. it. And it'll remind me of how I'm going to take care of you. Get out of here. Get out of here, Chaz. Oh, well, Chaz, you, you know, in there. Brother got, you know, hey, he's dramatic. It's Bring Chaz brother. on. Yeah, I think he ain't going to come on, but I think he's still in there. He's still in the chat. Y'all want to see Chaz? I, we'll wait. We'll wait. Just wait. If he if he come on and stuff like that, then y'all had y'all a chance to talk. Yeah, to Chaz, him. Said he told he he needs some more uh, time to do decompress. He, he, he's a little stressed, so leave the brother alone. Let the let the man chill. So well, this um, part right, of so, when you on the show, this is the this is the aftermath, right? This is the thing that you have to deal with. You're on a reality show. People talking about it. You know, we're not going for we're not going to forget, and we having the yeah. conversation. You know, this is this is part of what it is. It's like when people post on social media and they leave their comments open and they get mad when people respond. But you made the that post, so why are you mad that, that people? That, that would be me. I'll be mad like a mug. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. uh, you uh, you go you go on the yeah, show. You gotta you gotta deal with it. All right. Yeah, Lamar didn't know how to read the room. All right, so who else we got up here? Um, so yeah, Patrice, look at the way she could her eyes at him. Um, so listen, the pretty lady with the um whole bow outfit um dress. Oh, Layling. Layling. Yeah. To me, uh -huh. she was the one with class. Okay, she had that aura by herself, in my opinion. Y'all on Vanessa bandwagon. To me, she did. What's her name? She just told you, Lay Lynn. Lay Lynn, yeah. Yeah. Lay Lynn. yeah. So that's just my opinion. You know, how you feel like she that. seems like it. But I think that some of y'all said, I don't know if it was in the comments, uh, but they said that really and truly she saw what the men was like and she was like, Ooh, can one of the uh, family members, can y'all please get me up out of this mess? And so, yeah, I'm out. So, yeah. So, what do you think happened to Glenn then? Oh, he just got lost in the woods. Glenn said, Ooh. Glenn, okay. okay. Glenn was weird. Very much so. Very much so. <laughs> Glenn was weird. He wouldn't have been good on that show because he had the anxiety. He wouldn't have been able to deal with the dates and having conversations with. The, I just he was a he was a weird dude. He needs to date outside of the show. So he made the right decision to hit reverse in that car. Yeah, he, he did the right things by you know staying in the woods. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, yeah, I, I guess that's it for yeah Red to love. Let me see. Yeah, that's it. Um, like we said, we hope that Mika um yeah. and Justin. Yeah, we talked about uh Maya. Look at him, she's bubbling chat. Um, yeah, he was Jonathan back there in the what? What y'all say? The Pink Panther suit. I was joking like he was going to the that's prom. What you said. Uh, I, I, I like he was going to the prom. It. Yeah, a bow tie. You know, uh, that bow tie. You know, back in the seventies when you had a little bow tie. That's how big that bow tie looks to me. Oh, you know, I ain't pay no attention to him, but he do look yes. a little uncomfortable, child. Because like he's gonna take them Kmart pictures uh, for Easter. So yeah, he, he took some Kmart pictures. I took some serious pictures. <laughs> was he taking it with his baby mama or his ex-wife? Yeah. Ex-wife. Mm -hmm. Ex-wife. Yeah. Yeah, we ain't talking about they was talking about feet and all that stuff, whatever, child. Ain't nobody hear that. Uh Rashia, I think Rashia was good. I, I like Rashia. Did I say that right. I said that Rashina. right. Rashina. Is it Rashina? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love y'all. I love y'all. Tell them names of Angel. Be careful this table. You keep pulling, you know, want this screen to fall on this table. So, stupid. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like she do me out. Yeah, what what somebody you said in the comment said? Do y'all like each other, honey? They delete that comment. They did, yeah. I'm like, child, this is marriage. He get up under my skin, I get up under his. It is what it is. This is what to be somebody that's new here. Yeah, well, okay. Because y'all y'all do, do this all the time. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Like, do y'all want us to fake it? Like, oh, and then the, that that be them couples that you know what I'm saying they be acting like they all nice and sweet for the Instagram, then find out that somebody does. All unalive, the next one, or fighting, or, or doing all that cheating on each other. So, do y'all want real or fake? Which one you want? You gotta make up your mind which one you want, Jack. The city. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. like um, if y'all ever even think about breaking up, we all coming 
to Birmingham, Montgomery. Uh, oh. I, I know that's right. I mean, y'all better come. Could get get uh, Miss Omega. You come get out of Nika. Y'all get the whole family. Come on over. Here. Come, come on for what? What you talking about? They, we gonna surround the house with a prayer circle. Y'all ain't breaking okay. up. Y'all got to be together. I know, I know that's right. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Kamisha Review. Hey, What's Kamisha. up, Kamisha? What's on going on, girl? Yeah, you was. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, so y'all make sure y'all going over there because you know Kamish be having all the tea chat. When I want tea hunting, I go over there when any kind of breaking stories, I be in the bushes, uh Kamisha watching chat. Cause that's why I found out about uh what's her name? Oh, Vanessa and all that that's going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Kamisha, she breaks the news. So y'all make sure y'all yeah. follow uh Kamisha, y'all mm -hmm. hit her up and everything. So uh Glenn just Yes, and he did it. say that. He did say that. He said, I'm just here because I want to get fine. Oh, he said he that? He did say that. He oh. Sure oh, okay. Well, shoot. That's why he was there then, honey. All right, so now, let's, let's see. I think that's all the ready to love, child. We done tapped all of them, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. We, uh, well, I'm for, Vanessa, why you want to fight me? Huh? I'm going to fight Eddie for Coco. <laughs> why fight me? Who said that? I'm saying, why, why, why all the anger and violence towards me? Who said that? Oh, Vanessa. Right oh, there. Vanessa. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to fight it. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm just here just trying to tell the male point of view. That's all I'm trying to do. That's it. All right, so um, yeah, what's the name? William, um, he on red bottom too, then you said that uh, yeah. what's the name? Chad, 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 Chad didn't have a red ball, he ain't had no red balls. So he, he got some regular shoes, got some red pants. Okay, <laughs> that's all he did. He had red pants, he ain't no red, no, he ain't red ball. So yeah, we talked about William. It wasn't much with him, honey. He just got to take care of them three children and stuff like that. So yeah, mm -hmm. we, yeah, and, and some of them other people they didn't get no shine, wasn't mine. I didn't know who the dude was with the little hat on. He uh, done changed his whole wardrobe. Yeah, Demonte. That was him. Mm -hmm. Who was the girl in the blue dress next to him? I could not, I, I for the life of me. I don't know. I, don't I remember, remember her. her. Yeah. I remember her because uh, Jonathan said she just seemed like she wasn't opening up. So it was, I don't know, first or second episode. Uh, oh, okay. where, where's the next uh, city they're going to be at, you think? I don't know. Kamisha may know. What's the next city uh they're gonna have ready to love at? Because yeah, she know about all the tea. Um, so let's talk about this, y'all. So are y'all gonna watch tomorrow the never ever meets? Is that what it's called? Never, never ever met. Oh miss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> don't even me, child. Yeah, that education is a yep, and, <laughs> yep, that's what I am. I'm calling me and me, child. And keep it going, honey. I'm yeah. gonna watch this and I'm gonna come for y'all's review. Cause that's just gonna watch it, Eddie. I'll oh, watch it, see how it is. Then we uh, because the whole moral is they never met in person, right. correct? <laughs> so if y'all seen that, you know, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go and watch the um the little intro um and everything. So yeah, they me never met in person, and so um now they'll be meeting. So they've been dating Sandra and um Chris been dating for three months, and they never met in person. Um, so let's go over them. Just like catfish. Been no they ain't catfish all okay. right they real people okay yeah uh, what you've been saying liz no i i'm i'm, I'm waiting to to see what i mean because three months doesn't seem like that long so there's got to be something they must be in the same town or something because i don't know Millie and greg i've yeah. been dating for five months so yeah, uh, baby hair is going oh i know right but some of them them wigs with the baby hairs <laughs> yeah uh, it's not baby hair, it's new growth. Okay, you're too old to have baby hair. This is true because anyway. you don't have baby teeth, so right. you can't have baby hair. I got baby hair. I don't care what y'all say. I got yeah. baby hair, child. I just seen it before I put this little do rag on, honey. So I got it's it. It's new growth, not yeah. Baby it's hair. baby hair. It ain't, it ain't go nowhere, so it's baby hair anyway. So they've been dating for six months. Alexis and Dominique. I was gonna say something about Dominique. I will not. That's um, gonna be a mess. So yeah, it looks like it. Is it love about the locker? Because <laughs> they look like they took they they picture in the little photo thing where you get like the four pictures on the strip. Oh yeah, That's yeah. I hope Dominique like. didn't just get out the pen 
All right, so um, let's see. They've been dating for twenty. Ain't never seen each other. Child, y'all could have been had some truth in the hey, phone. Hey, is it me? But don't say like you've been smoking them black and mild. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was it the one that uh uh that Nicole got burned with? <laughs> hey, y'all wrong. Y'all so wrong she said it's actually called edges. That's right. It is called edges. Well, I'm um, gonna still say baby hair though. It's, it's new growth. Yeah. So they've been dating for 12 years. Okay then, yeah. Yeah. And uh <laughs> they've been dating for five. Yes, I ain't never seen the child. Ain't no way. Now that's these are be full grown adults that should have resources to be able to come to wherever the other person is. There's no, there's no excuse. Yeah. Is that Aaron Hall, little brother? It looks like it, don't it? Because his name Aaron Hall, H, not Hall, but yeah. Oh Lord, five years. Oh, so they diamond. And mm -hmm. then. Why she spells it like that? I swear, this new generation boy. <laughs> and she ain't no new. <laughs> she ain't no new. <laughs> she ain't she ain't no new. <laughs> so you can tell. So she probably changed that because she looked like she. I don't. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how old Diamond is, but you know, I know what she looked like. She could possibly be, but it looked like you know, because nowadays you know, women wear wigs and they can change. They can throw them back like twenty. That's a years. wig she has on. Yeah. Diamond, look, she she's giving me early fifties. Yeah, that's what I want to say. That's what mm -hmm. I want to say. So that's why I said she ain't no new to be spending her name like that. So, but anyway, uh, I think that's let's see who else. Oh yeah, dang four months, huh? Mm -hmm. hey, you know this show might be a hot mess. We got man. two errands on there. Yes. So that's yeah, why I had to put Aaron H and Aaron J, A A R. Yeah, the um. I don't know, uh, Joanne girl. You should investigate Aaron, honey. Why you, why you say that? It just she should. She should. Well, do she I got should. that shirt kind of open a little too far? <laughs> Is it looking zesty? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. And then, and then, I don't know if that's a smile where they catch him talking or what because he's like, okay, you tried. Stop. Okay. Stop. But anyway, so Aaron looked like he, um, uh, from the ATSC. That's it at all. Mm -hmm. Dang! First of all, every man from the ATL is not like that. Okay, I you, is keep it you real. know what it is? It's the little thin goatee thing with the little soul patch. That's yeah, questionable. That's true. It's yeah, questionable. very questionable. Plus, you, know, you got a shirt wide open. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> he probably got a tie at the bottom. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, got tied at the bottom. Oh, miss. <laughs> Ooh, too, like yeah. Yeah, it's shaky. <laughs> kind of shaky here. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll be watching it uh, tomorrow. And, uh, we'll Tomorrow's be... Friday? Yeah, but I can't believe it. Yeah, I mean, it came fast. Y'all make sure y'all like this video. Shout out to our mods that are in the chat. So, shout out to uh, Miss B Doll and uh, Monique and. Um, who else in the chat? But yeah, and if y'all see those that are in different colors, those are our channel members. Shout out to you guys. We appreciate you guys so much. Like real talk, like yeah, we do. We really do. You know, even though I'll be working these long hours at work, and I come here and try to entertain y'all. Are y'all entertained? You ain't no and, one. And you come in the comments to try to hate on us when we have an opinion that you don't like. I you, do not. You hate ain't on that me. tired. No, I do not hate on people to come in. No, I just give you give your opinion, I give my opinion, and we just keep it moving, man. That's all. Let me tell you something. Um, it's sometimes y'all be thinking that I be doing the comments, not you, Liz, but uh, some of the other people. Sometimes, most of the time, they be editing them comments, especially when y'all got some. He got some more to say. It, it be him. It be him. Now, if you say something about me, I may take offense to it or something like that, and I may say something. But a lot of time that be him, Chad. He be having time, but he hadn't had time in about over a week, so I had to catch up on the comments yeah, yesterday. Here's the here's a fun fact, though. When you read the comment responses, you can tell which one of you it is. Oh, is it? Uh-huh, you can tell. <laughs> okay, I think I know, because do I try to put the little soft, little hard emojis and stuff? Is that it's how, the, you, it's how you know? It's a whole different tone. 
Oh, okay. It's a whole different tone. Hey, man. Because some of y'all be making me mad. What you say? Be making me mad, man. What you, what you say, man? Hey, answer the question. I ain't gonna ask a dang old thing to you. Kick rocks. Who say answer the question? Somebody said you need to answer the question. Let me try to threaten me. My channel. I block you. <laughs> All right, you guys. So, uh, so let, let me check and see what the likes look like. Babe. Pull up uh, and see what the likes look like. Because, chat, uh, oh, we've boy. been. Um, never mind. I do myself. Um, so yeah, y'all make sure that y'all like this video. Pull up YouTube and see what uh, because they won't we can't see what the likes look like on um here. So yeah, uh, we're gonna talk about married at first sight, and then we're gonna let y'all go home, honey. Make sure y'all pay your tithes and offering. Um, okay, so we got a hundred, a hundred and seven likes, and um, how many people we got 125? So all right, y'all get it on up, honey, because we want this gone so YouTube can um push it on. Up, push it on up in the algorithm. All right, you guys. All right, so let's get started with this. Now, this was horrible. The worst season of Married at First Sight history. It was horrible. Anybody else agree? Uh, Train wreck. That's right. Worst. Yeah, it, it was. Uh, it was terrible. Terrible. It was. It really truly was. Uh, it was like I've never seen anything in my life like this, man. You know. Yeah, I'm telling you, these people really have real hate for one another, especially Emily. She she needs some. She needs to see her girl. Uh, what's her name? Claire for for therapy. Mm, Claire oh, needs to go to with somebody for therapy. Yeah. Did somebody say that? Was I reading it? Read it? That's uh, I don't know. But somebody said that she was Emily. Claire was giving her therapy. Emily. Mm, really. And I, 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 I can playing. see that when she said, oh, calm down, don't do that. I can see her doing that. You know what I'm saying? It kind of makes sense now. And remember, she said she was going to a therapist twice a week, which probably that girl, honey, Claire. <laughs> Live down the hall or something. Yeah. Go in the living room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, the, thing, so, the thing about the, the beginning of the season, I think we thought it was just going to be boring. Right? There was no... But barely any, I was going to say no, but only one black person, no other people of color. And it generally is more exciting when you have that diversity. So I'm seeing all, you know, these envelopians. I'm like, this is going to be boring. But then it turned into something even worse. Right? Yes, yeah. Which, which I wasn't expecting. Okay. Yeah, because when I saw the cast, I said, play the tape. I said, oh, it looks so unseasoned. Mm -hmm. Ugh, they got no spice to it. And I was right, you know, and uh, like you, like what you said, Liz, it turned out to be worse than that. You know, it, it turned out to be a pile of mess. And I've never seen anything like this before. You know, I've been watching this show for how many seasons, you think? Oh, like, mm -hmm. Six, seven seasons? Probably so. Yeah, and worst season ever. Really it's like every season keep getting worse, it seems like. Right. And they dragged it out. Oh, yeah. I think oh. that's that's the worst part. Right. That's the worst part is when they drag it out. So, uh, but yeah, so let's just go ahead and get into it. Uh, so let's, if y'all want to depict the men, let's let's go men by men. But I did this. So let's first start with Michael and Chloe. Now, let me just get my opinion. I love Chloe, even though some people thought that she was an actress, that she came in. And I was reading it, read it. They said she'll pay actress, you know, whatever. But uh, yeah, she's... I liked her. I think that she was the mature. Did I say woman? Woman, whatever. She she's one of the most mature people on this cast. Um, now Michael disappointed me big time because he came in like I'm ready, 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 but then he was like I'm out, I'm out, deuces. So yeah, that was very disappointing, and I felt that he was a little bit. I think somebody said it somewhere that he feels that um, Michael probably feels that Chloe is probably just a little bit um, out of his reach, meaning. She's a little mm -hmm. bit more mature. He wants somebody. Did you say that, Liz? Somebody said. Mm -hmm. um, he wanted somebody that was maybe like that go party, shop, you know, just kind of like they're carefree. But she is a minimalist. You know, she kind of like in a certain bracket, in a certain, she's a different kind of woman. I, I can you know, agree with that. Did, go ahead, Liz. My, my thing with the reason, I just got this feeling from Chloe that she was condescending. Right, she would make like little backhand comments 
about him, about some of the other women. And that was kind of, and you can, you can see it a little bit in the preview for next okay. week. So that was, I just always had that feeling from her, but she was considering all of the people on the season. She was the most mature, but that's not saying a lot because they were all acting like high school that's kids. True. That's true. Oh, we got Jack Lane on Who? Jack Lane on YouTube channel. Say what? Jack oh, Lane. Jack Lane. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, My oh, Michael okay. was disappointing because he had two chances. Right. And he just, like you said, he just would walked away from it. And it didn't even really make a lot of sense what he said. He was trying to, I think, make himself not look bad by really complimenting Chloe. Oh, she's so great. She's the most loving person I've ever met. And she has all this light and stuff. But he never really explained why he didn't pick her. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, uh, I agree with you, uh, Aaliyah, because, like you said, this guy has a second chance. And to me, I think he's fumbled the ball in his second chance. And you know, this this show actually went out their way <laughs> to give you a second right. a second wife. And gave up to me, I thought it was a good choice. You know, Chloe was, and uh, he fumbled it, man. And uh, not just that, a second chance it made it slowed it up for us too oh, as yeah, the it viewers. You did. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, we had to wait till y'all catch up. <laughs> so. Like, we want our money back. Like, we want a refund. Y'all need to, like, I don't know, cash, have been more. Y'all need to do something to us because we are do a refund because he slowed it up for the whole freaking season. We could have been through. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree. He, I agree. It would have been better for him to be honest. Like, I can see people in the comments saying he didn't want to live on the farm with 500 animals and 100 kids. Like, say that. Right. right, right, right. Just be straight up and say that. That would have been a lot more transparent than you not really saying why you didn't want to be with her and kind of blowing smoke about how great she is. Yeah, and, and to me, Chloe, she handled the rejection with class, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and, uh, you know, hey, but hey, Michael, man, you know, yeah, he, he dropped that ball, bro. Drop the ball. Some people, uh, I know um Kay from Millennium Mom, she said that Michael too wordy for her. I, I honestly I didn't pay attention to the words. It just I guess he gives a lot of fluff and he don't get right to the point and he just say a lot of you know what they call yeah, it. Word, word salad, yeah. Word salad mm -hmm. yeah. and word vomit. Yeah. Word salad. I didn't pay attention to it. Yeah, I think Kay's yeah. right too. I noticed that too. He 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 he's try he tries to talk. Intellectual. Yes, that's the world looking for. And he throw a big word in there and, and you just go on around the whole world to get to a point, you know, and, and sometimes they can get tired. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, the reason they was all jibber jabbering so much during the season because none of them was having sex. They could have they did. Well, I mean, but I mean to the end, like because remember during the honeymoon with Orion and Lauren. They was just talk, 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 talk about their feelings. No, talk, talk, no. talk. A lion did the talking. Lauren did the crying. <laughs> hey, let's, keep, let's keep that clear, okay? Why <laughs> she crying so much over this, this uh, grass color? <laughs> oh, I think she about. was crying because she was upset. I you know how some people I cry when they get angry? Yeah. I feel like she was angry and humiliated and disappointed and all that just came out in tears. Yeah, I get that, but to cry and fall on the floor, though, that's a little too much. You know what I'm saying? A little too much. Yeah. All right, so enough of them. They don't get that much shine. Let's see. All right. Come on, grass cutter. Look at them shoes. Yeah. I should have good blew them up, Jad. Don't they look like they got green grass? Yeah, they do. Little bitty. But he said that he um he packing. He showed it say that right. He got it. Yeah, That's packing right. right. The, the, the girl <laughs> yeah, got it. Yeah, online confused too, Jack. He confused right now on what he wanna do. I like I would never come on the show. His mama didn't look at him and say, baby, don't go out that door like that. Like, hey, don't he stay in the basement? He had no good clothes and that. But remember, he doesn't he didn't want a woman talking to him any old kind of way because he grew up with the women dominating him. 
So now that he's, you know, more grown, he didn't want to pay attention. He didn't want to hear all that. Yeah, but still, you're dealing with a little sister, so you got to be more open minded, you know, and more yeah. uh, and more lenient, and you have to understand what you're getting yourself into. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and uh, <laughs> Lauren, Lauren, I just, I don't know, man. You know, I don't understand why she was so fixated, fixated on trying to make the same work with this man after this man told basically her, told, basically told her no. And you know, she just kept crying over this guy, man. You know, just I don't know. I, mean, I just don't understand, man. But it was it was frustrating. Yeah, I, I really think that's what it was. The frustration and anger. They, because she thought that this was gonna be something. And they really could have worked it out. And I think that was another level of frustration is when he just, you know, two days in, I won't be able to forgive you. I don't want to work this out. And you had in your mind, you thought coming in that this is going to be, you know, your person. Right. And then they leave over something silly and you've gone through all this stuff. She had her family there while she got married and she's going to be on TV. So thinking of all of that coming down on her at one time, I think, I mean, I don't know her personally, but I could imagine how that would stir up all kinds of crazy emotions. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um, like this, um, Juicy. Is it Juicy? Juicy G said, huh? Juicy? Am I saying it right? Um, but um, she was saying that Lori had too much energy to claim she's over it. Now, I agree with yeah. that. I think there is some anger still there. You know, I don't think that she's hurt because he didn't yeah. do it. Da, 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 da. I think she's angry. She's angry. Look the way she's looking at him now. She couldn't look at him, you know. I mean, like, if she wanted to keep saying, Oh, I'm living my best life, I'm so happy, yada, yada, yada. But she's angry, like, she was part of the mean girls club. That's what I would say is hyping them up, like, All these men are trash, they, they gave us a bad, bad, yada, yada, yada. yada. I, I, I like the terms my use today, they call them bitter Barbies, it, oh. it, yeah, and they were bitter, yeah, they were bitter, man. And, uh, you know, and Lauren, she's bitter also. Like you said, you know, you can tell she's still mad and she's not over this, but get over it, man, and move on. Don't even have this man have much power over you. He he gets Eric. my he gets my my pressure up anytime he comes on the screen, though. Anytime I see him and he's about to open his mouth, I know he's gonna lie about something, and it makes me so angry. So I cannot imagine being her sitting 10 feet from him knowing he's about to open his mouth up and lie and fudge and oh i didn't give up on my marriage and oh yeah. you know whatever i want to i want to be your friend then he doesn't contact her he tried to put yeah, her in he, front street on all them people like well i'm here to find out if lauren wants to be my friend or not because i'm here for you know ugh. he does a lot he do, do a lot of uh, gaslighting he really do that you know um, Eric wants us to talk about uh, what about the racial slurs? The red skin, yeah. Mm -hmm. And she didn't call him a red skin, she said she heard a joke and laughed about it. And uh, but she didn't get the whole gist of what it was until after oh, okay, now it's computing, and it was kind of too late when she just got and she noticed that his feelings was hurt, but mm -hmm. you know. I really and truly think he just used it as an excuse to get out of it because it really and truly was not that deep. Like, it really, what, dude, you called us the N word. Yeah, he you said he used it. it. Yeah, he said he used it. Until I think he said his mom or somebody had to tell him it was inappropriate, it was wrong. So, why would you sit up here and claim and, and just dog her out for something that she was ignorant of, just like you said you would, Shaq? Um, back in the day, so why would you do the same thing to her? It was just, it was ignorant. But she, he didn't have that same en energy for camera when he said something about the reservations. Right, right. right. And he the thing, like for but, them to be married and for him to say he wanted to use this kind of as a platform for indigenous people, it could have been a moment where he taught her. Right. You know, this is my wife. This thing happened. I'm real uncomfortable. But because I have this big platform, I can show people, you know, I can say, you know, that really hurt my feelings. This is why. And I want other people to be able to learn from this. And she absolutely she would have apologized like she did. 
and she would have grown from it. But he he has whatever that wasn't healed within him to be able to have some grace for her. Juicy. Okay, thank you, Juicy. Y'all not be struggling with y'all names. If I say it wrong, y'all got to break it down, honey. Help me understand. Thank you, Juicy. Um, <laughs> Sound like Juicy. <laughs> on the uh, Breakfast Club. <laughs> like, <laughs> when when Edub was trying to say Jay Z this morning, what was that? What's that JC song? Uh, J- <laughs> oh, yeah, I was saying, I was saying, was JC. Poppy Collar. Oh, Brush his shoulders off. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, I ain't never heard it. Yeah, and you try to be hip. Yeah, please. <laughs> yeah, that was an epic fail. I need you to do an album of all the remixes of all the songs that you sing that you end up remixing. All right, man. Uh-huh. I, I remix them all. <laughs> Ain't no future in your fronting. Ain't no future in your fronting. That's right. He be trying. He be trying. He he so, and he what he talked about, he was with Beckett. I see why. The he do a remix. I see why. Yeah. Why? Oh, man. Yeah, they the probably did rhythm. all beat together. Come on, that's the past. We ain't talking about it. Though. Couldn't catch that beat in that time. They, they all, beat all right, together. all right, all right. Yeah. I think, um, you know what? I think Michelle's right that Lauren was feeding off of the rest of the bitter Bettys. Of course. That's what uh, and, Dr. Pia said. Yeah. Dr. Pia said the same thing. He said, it's good that she was saying, it's good that you, you women are uh, sticking together, but y'all feeding off each other energy. You know, so that's what made it so toxic. You know, cause Emily mad, uh, Claire mad, and Becca mad. Now Lauren getting mad, and when she get mad, they it's like they just feeding off that negative energy. So for a point, for a point of time, I was starting to take the guys, take the sides of the guys, man, because I'm saying, man, guys trying to apologize to y'all, and they don't want to take the apology. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> this had the nerve to say thank you for your apology and then said but i don't believe you yes i don't know come on emily just yeah. just let it go just please let it go girl we just like we we over it there go becca she cried a lot too i was like what is wrong with these women in denver they cry a lot what's the problem now, now tell me why did he shave off his beard he, I, I guarantee he threw up. Oh, he shaved it yeah, off. He had, he had it on. Yeah, uh-huh. he got sick. He said he had a stomach bug. I guarantee he threw up in his beard probably had to shave it off. You can't wash it out? Yeah, probably, you know, he could have, but, you know, it depends how much he threw up in it. I don't know. When they say he shaved it, I'm thinking, you know, this was before. I didn't no, know he sat down. Yeah, he had the beard. When, the he, beard went right, up. I see it now. Okay. You, you know what I'm saying? You're tired. I don't pay no attention like that. Hey, Melania Moore. Hey. What's Miss you? Not amused at all. Oh, like by that, that the blooper reel that wasn't funny. Oh, yeah. What happened? Yeah. The, the, the blooper the, reel. Yeah, the unseen footage, the yeah. blooper reel, whatever. It's like watching an episode of Friends. I did uh, not uh, laugh uh, once. Uh, not once, Chad. None of that stuff was mm-hmm. funny, honey. So none of it was funny. Y'all make sure y'all go and follow Millennial and Mom. I think her review of the show will be out maybe Friday or Saturday. So y'all go check her out. Um, so yeah, y'all make sure y'all follow. Um, so yeah, Becca and um Austin. So it's okay. So let's talk about the sex thing. Do y'all why did he just not want to have sex with her? You say he had a, a process. I didn't say what he said, I'm saying what the people think. What y'all think? <laughs> Shut me down. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I- I think it's because he didn't have he did not have the intention of staying with her. Mm. That's what I I think, and he didn't want to even have that happen because you know if you care about the optics, which they all do, if you sleep with her and then you get to decision day and break up, you know, and you don't have a really good reason. Like if he had done it, it would be like, oh, you you slept with her, you took advantage of her, and you knew you didn't have any intention of staying with her. So I think he was just trying to keep himself back from that. Um, and based yeah. on the preview for where are they now, it looks like he might be getting with the roommate anyway. Just nasty. Mm-hmm. So that could be a factor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I, yeah that, that makes sense, man. You know, you don't want no kind of ties if you're going to break up with somebody anyway. So, yeah, that makes sense. I just didn't think he was uh, that attractive to her, in my opinion. That's why I thought. He, he was all up in her mouth all the time. They was yeah. making out left and right. And it, yeah. and it, only when it came to actually doing the deed, the he had allergies. The grandmama was in the house. It was <laughs> he had every excuse in the book as to why he couldn't go. He wanted to sleep in the other dude's bedroom. Yeah. It was like, well, yeah. you can come if That's you want to. Yeah. You know what? Here, here's another theory I you know I thought about. Some guys when they get on these shows, they are if they're not too confident about their sex action they're not going to take that chance to do it because they don't want nobody to get, talk about it. because you know it's all you seen on some of these seasons when they try the sex is trash they bring it up uh sex is trash and so some guys are not going to take that chance so why take a chance and get your get your drug on the internet so yeah. that's another reason why i thought you know i thought you probably didn't do it so i could, I could be wrong but mm. it's that austin like to spend time with the other guys chat yeah. But yeah, so I didn't understand why he didn't date the roommate anyway. Like I understand why you did. I thought the roommate was maybe not into men. So what roommate y'all keep talking about? The roommate he had, the woman. Oh, that's right. He had female roommate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if that's supposed to be a thing on like they supposed to get together. I know they showed us um, her review gonna come out Saturday. So um, so but yeah, I don't know if that's gonna be you know a real thing because you know production be trying to trick us sometimes. So I don't know if that's gonna they be a real thing. Yeah, they never trick me. They do trick you they too, child. But yeah, so anyway, let's move on on Austin and his boots and socks. So let's move on. Let's get to the real stuff. I guess they ain't got no swag. Now you right. Was it this show? No, you said real to me. Yeah, they ain't got swag. They ain't got no swag. Now yeah. Mike had a little swag. Yeah, yeah, Mike got get Mike. Mike had a little swag. Kind of no weird swag. swag. They have and he's from California, so there uh, you go. Hey, <laughs> hey, I'm your thing. He said he was from California, but I don't think that Michael was gay, though. I don't think <laughs> that he didn't give me those vibes. He dressed weird. Yes, most men don't walk around with skirts on and, and pearls and all that stuff. He did, but I think he was just what they call it eccentric. I don't know. Is that yeah, the right word? Mm -hmm. but he had it. He was he was secure in his sense of style. Right, yep. he he had a lot more of a sense of security and confidence than any of the other men on the season. They seem really insecure and unsure of themselves. Yeah, I just tell you one thing: you won't see me in a skirt and no pearls. Mm -mm. Yeah, I, and I'm glad. Praise the Lord, Hallelujah! Yeah. I didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. metrosexual. Yeah, yeah. that's what it's called. Yeah. Metrosexual. Skirt. If you pearl, would, if you would yeah. stay with Becky, who knows? Why y'all keep? I know that's girl. right. Yes, that was a long, long, long time ago. For research purposes. Yeah, yeah. that's all it was. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so let's move on. Who needs? Uh, oh, yeah, Brandon. So, so I said, who's Brandon in the comment? Oh, I kept calling him Brandon. <laughs> that's a <our> yard guy. <laughs> <laughs> Just lie. Oh yeah, when she would cry, when she when no she, word. Wait, hold you, up. You got it. <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Looking like the seat just ejected her. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Claire. She like girl, stop. Like yeah. Claire, like girl. Now she supposed to be the therapist. She let her client just run off. Look at her. Just look at her. Just in rap forms, all of her size. Look at it. Oh, right there. About to go off on Kevin, right there. She really like had her. all of the smoke for Keisha and for Kevin. Yeah. Yep. And she didn't have it. Like, and she kind of got a little, not even as, as spicy with the people in the room, but like, what makes you think that you could talk to? black folks like that first of all and people who are clearly older i didn't like kind of that subtext to it that made me real uncomfortable that she yeah that's a good point yeah. what yeah. she said hmm. what subtext of of, of her talking like that to the black people okay. specifically right. I, got you. I, yeah. I had it had a feeling with it yeah i i, I agree she always challenged uh you know like i said keisha or kevin yeah and uh 
she didn't, she didn't do did, she didn't do Pastor Cal like that. No, not really, but still, you know. And Dr. Reason, Pia was and, on her side most of the time, so she mm -hmm, definitely didn't do right. it. Right. And, and the reason, you know, with Pastor Cal, because she had Brendan sitting next to her, and he was controlling the conversation. Mm -hmm. She going yeah. for an Emmy, baby. No, she she going for something. She Go going out for that trash. The, the to be award. Yeah, yeah. She was <laughs> doing way too much. She uh, she really. But the point is, my much. question about uh, Emily is, just let it go, let it go. You know, you know, y'all not dating no more. Y'all not married no more. But she refused to let it go. Even when Brandon was trying to apologize, and you know, she did not want to accept the man. It's like she trying to just like. She has this trauma bond with this man. She got to have this, you know, have something to latch on to, man, so she can have some kind of communication with this man. If you're over it, you can move on. Right. But she's not moving on. And I, I just you don't know understand. What? I think for her, he was so obsessed with looking good. Right. Right. And right. the idea that he could change the narrative to make himself look good in the end she was determined to not let that happen at all but well, she went along with it though and my right, thing is, agreed. You know, yeah my thing is okay now y'all have a problem with it you should never went along with it you know y'all you know yeah i blame the, i blame the men but hey the women are not unscathed when it comes to this because they they was all together in this so-called plot so don't get mad because it don't work out for you you know and you know, Brendan, he moved on, got another woman, but she refused to move on. He's like some kind of crazy stalking woman. Because she wanted to make him look bad, like no matter what. And you are not going to come out of this looking like, oh, apologizing and having people think that you're a good guy. I'm going to be yeah. the one to make sure that folks know for sure that you still, I'm not, I'm not paying you dust. You get nothing over here. So that's, 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 what, that's what I think. I get it. I agree with you, but that's a lot of energy you got to spend doing that. You know, use that energy for something else. She she really and truly was a real live Karen. Oh, no doubt. Yeah, she definitely was a real live Karen. Because now that I think about all that extra crime back and forth, going back, and then go, and then production going. And, and when she said, you know, hey, America's going to like me, or whatever she said to that context, yes. it's like, oh, okay, girl, then we know really and truly what you're doing. So, yeah, you definitely want, because she knew how to get him. She knew that saying, America's going to see this, they're going to like me and not you. And he got riled up, and she and she knew what she was doing. Yeah, and another thing, she was talking about her DMs were popping. And I'll tell you the reason why your DMs were popping. When, that, when, they, when her friend told Brandon that she liked one night stands, yes, your DM is gonna be popping for sure. Cause your people gonna think you easy. I feel like Brennan, if he was more well adjusted, and Orion did kind of the same thing to Lauren when he found out that she had had you know sex a couple of months before. If he had been mature enough, once he found that out, to say, you know what, one of your friends told me this, and it's really bothering me and i want to get your side of it i feel like he could have taken care of that at the beginning but he I, held I on to you. it and um did a complete 180 from i'm never getting a divorce we in this forever remember at the beginning of the season yeah, we thought that, that. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't never gonna leave yeah i remember him saying that and i agree with you i think he could have handled that situation better but you know hey it is what it is you know yeah. So the blame was on him from 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 way back from holding on to that. And then he found all these other re oh, you're so negative. And, and he did admit that he was wrong for holding on to that stuff. You know, mm -hmm. he said to me, even though even though I don't like old lion, he did the right thing by, you know, ending the ending the marriage early, in my opinion. And I think Brendan should do the same thing. I, I hate the way old lion did it. And I think the way he did it was wrong. I think he should have sat down and they should have, you know, talked more and stuff like that. But, you know, uh, but yeah, if that's what you had to do, that's what you had to do. So, yeah, for him to continue to go, Brendan continue to go on and on and on with it, I guess to get a check, he said he felt like she was saying, hey, if you do this, I'm going I'm to embarrass you and make your life a living hell. So, I, you know, whatever. those women are not what they say. Those women were not Emily's friend. Yeah. Sure weren't. I agree. 
I agree. Like, mm -hmm. honey, she act like she needed a tranquilizer child. What was your real friends there, honey? Somebody should have been there. Somebody should have just gave her. I think they all stay on for the um, per episode pay. I agree. Like, Emily's friends dragged her on and off camera. Mm -hmm. Now, I get one Four guy. friends. At the reception. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. I bet one, yeah, the one night stands and all that. Yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah, he did. He did. He did. Yeah, he did. Job. That's what she said. She she said one genuine. I, I, feel, I, I feel like I, I, feel like, I feel like he was doing damage control. He was. He he, he really was because it's all about that image. I think a lot of all the guys was doing damage control. To be mm -hmm. honest with you, but the women, to me, I think they. Cause more damage by the way they was acting, in my opinion. Yeah, they are like mean girls. There you go, Claire. And look at Cameron. Oh, look, Cameron. Oh, it hard, it broken, and everything. Yeah. Oh, Cameron. Yeah, I, you know, I think I think he got the EJ key offline. I keep saying offline. <laughs> He got no what? E e J uh, E K G. What you call E K G? Yeah. He got it online. He got uh, off online. Bro, he it, it, because I just think I'm not saying the brother's faking it. But <laughs> he, it came up right at a convenient. You see this right here? Right. This is when I had heartburn. Where yeah. gave me heartburn? <laughs> I said, "Come on, now, Cameron." He's slick with you. Make you know? sure you like and share the video. Make sure that you subscribe. If you are brand new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. I'm sorry, baby. No, no, you saying no. It's Cameron. He's slick with his. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I, did you believe all of his um stuff? Nah. See, because I and I and I keep, you know, the records on Twitter from my tweets when they were on the honeymoon and they did that paint thing. Where they was throwing paint at each other. Mm, yeah, I remember. You know how back when some when like you was kids and you was play fighting and then somebody really starts fighting and you don't know that they really mad. Right. He was he was unleashing some stuff yeah. that he felt I, I, about her. Yeah. And because you could just tell in his his whole like body language, his demeanor, he wasn't having fun. He was trying to actually get at her. I was like, ah, Cameron. I'm not feeling you. Yeah, yeah. Cameron, you know. Cameron fooled me, and I ain't gonna lie. He got me. I, I, the red flag came to me when they was at the airport, and he kept walking and left her behind. He didn't try to get her bags or nothing like that. Okay, that's your wife. You just gonna leave her behind like that? You're not gonna try to help her with her bags? I said, yeah, something ain't right with this one right here. So that was my, you know, first time seeing some red flags in this situation. Well, he, oh. um, who was it that was saying that, oh, oh, it was on the show when he said that the, the night that they got married, she said she was still in love with her boyfriend, allegedly. Mm. And so people were saying, well, maybe that's why he was being cold to her in the airport because no. they just had that conversation and he wasn't feeling her. I don't know. Yeah, but on the flip side of that, at the reunion, he said, hey, man, if she gave me another opportunity, yeah, we can try it again. Yeah. If you don't like this woman, you're not feeling her like that, why are you trying to date her again, date her again after, the, after the reunion? Right. You know, if you don't like a woman, you don't like a woman. You don't, want the woman being, you don't want that woman in your presence. Sociopath, someone called him that. Yeah, he sociopath, psychopath, whichever one it is, because he didn't even, when she said, you sent me a text, a week ago or a couple of days ago, whatever, that said that you called me a sociopath and now you're trying to get with me on the show. Like, that's crazy. That's great. He didn't even deny that he had called her that. Yeah, I can kind of see and him still playing, wanting uh, to get back with her. I can see him playing a Batman villain. <laughs> you know what you know what I'm saying? Not a Batman villain. Hey, Elizabeth, he on the big one. Yeah, hard time. Oh yeah. yeah, you know, like somebody said, uh, Faith said, and we just we talked about this is that you know, uh, married at first sight used to do applications. They did. Yeah. Now they do find them on Instagram and all this stuff. And I just I don't understand why. I really it's do. cheaper. It's cheaper to go that way. Just you know, buy, hire somebody to go through people's social media accounts and find somebody and go in their DMs. 
So that's just, is that the reason why? Yeah, save money. I think you can get right. people with a certain look too, right? Yeah, right, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So let's let's see um these receipts that uh Cameron supposed to uh had had um uh, DHI. So th- these are the receipts. These are supposed to be the alleged receipts. So Cameron, there's a loophole. We don't have to get divorced. I'll explain. We can make it like this never happened if we want. So this is supposed to be Cameron and this is supposed to be Claire in the green. I totally caught on. We just don't have to sign it within the 30 days that they ask. So I don't I, now, you know, text messages, all this stuff could be fake. Um, I'm getting close to going dark. They keep pushing me. I will disappear. Yep. Dark from what? Who's pushing them? So I I don't know if production. Um, let's see when I let's see when I get put in a corner, I will do anything to get out. And then and and I mean anything. So green light. I will not involve you in any way. But there is no going back. Once I flip the switch, it's over. Yes, let's do it. Why, why are you what talking are like you? that? That's, that's, oh, why are you being so dramatic? <laughs> So what are you going to do? I'm curious. Nuclear option release. Stay strong. Right. Let the negotiation begin. What if we get full money? Let's say, what if we get full money but only do one more week of filming? We can now work out what we can ask for. Let's see. And next, I'm out. This is way too much. Yep, I plan an A. Yep, a plan A begins this weekend. So what's your plan? Now, this is class supposedly in the green. Mm -hmm. We start talking about kids on camera and our disagreement. The moment the move-in check comes, we see, I told y'all there's a move-in check. Mm -hmm. I done told y'all, I know they said that they get an extra check for moving in for six months. So if they say, hey, we get guess we saying yes, we're getting married, then there is a uh like a stipend they get. So once they say yes and it pays them like supposed to pay they pay their rent for the next six months, something like that. So yeah. I think mm-hmm. that's what he was talking about. So we start talking about kids on camera in our disagreement. The moment the move in check comes, we cite irreconcilable differences and leave thoughts. I don't know if he meant the move that they move into the apartment. There will be uh, filming. Um, there will be filming if we want the other checks, but they won't um, feel five days a week. Let's see. Um, is there more? Okay. A, Lauren is out. <laughs> yeah, Good she job, just Lauren. texted me and told me Sunday we're both going to meet up with us to tell us. Okay, let's get this mm, done. Remember from now on, we are cold to one another on camera. The switch has been flipped, and now it's a race to the finish. Oh, yay! It's going. It's it's go time. It's go time. We got this. Is Lauren going to be at the dinner? What if we surprise everyone and said we're getting a divorce too? That would really get this going, done or whatever. Okay, so let's let's read. Four two, Chad. Let's read four two, honey. Four two. All right, receipts. Now y'all can go to Merit First Sight, um, Merit Math Fan Page on Instagram. Okay, so ooh, Chad, this is real tactic. Okay, mm-hmm. the letter comes from the advice of counsel. Please discontinue posting about Cameron Frazier. Oh yeah, this is supposed to be an attorney. This is supposed to be some kind of attorney telling them not to um post or. Talk about Cameron, yada, 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 yada. But I think that's pretty much, let's see, what else? What else? Um, so, yeah. But anyway, so that, I ain't finna read all that. But that's supposed to be receipts from um, Cameron and Claire. Yeah, Cameron and Claire. Oh, and so, uh, so y'all believe them receipts? Oh, yeah. yeah. Y'all believe they real? Yeah. Because she I, said, I she said he was the ringleader. So it makes sense that he's the one that came up with the plan and is now denying it, even though 
clearly he says, okay, this is what we're going to do step by step with the timing. This is how we're going to kick it off. And maybe he didn't get the other couples involved because it, even though it said clearly they had talked to Lauren, the, the, in the text messages, it was about what they were going to do in particular, which is exactly right. what they did on the show. Yeah. So I don't know what the plan, yeah. at least the other couples knew what they were going to do. Yep. Um, so yeah, and then I think the other receipts too was from a girlfriend, an ex-girlfriend of Cameron, and basically called him out and said he's crazy and so forth and so on. So that's the other receipts. Um, but yeah, it read it. So yeah, those are the receipts from Cameron. So you know, yeah, like they said, he's such a weirdo. So yeah, Ooh. Cameron is a mess. Women don't be women don't sound like victims, sound like um compliance. And okay. it's and you look back at Cameron too, there was other weird stuff like how he didn't tell Claire that his dad was sick before they got married. Right, there was right. nobody from his family that was at the wedding. There was little, there was red flags along the way, but the dad thing really, it's like, come on. Yeah. Oh, it just, it just didn't come up that my dad is, has collapsed lungs and can't travel and you know the whole thing about being on the deathbed right he, he was kind of flipping about that so you know what eric collins might be right he might be on the spectrum right he, he, he could be you know you do have picture. you do have some of the the, the traits you know yeah that, traits, that's so. true um because one thing and when that, you're on the spectrum i mean you you know you still functional you know you still do other things it's like you just got these little quirks about yourself right how about the camera? Yeah. So, um, but yeah, and there's another thing too. When he did, and I think that sad face came from when he was so disappointed with himself and, and fooled Dr. Pepper, and he was just like, "I'm so sorry," and he started fake crying and stuff like that. That's where that picture come from. So, did yeah. you see? Did you see his bottom lip quiver? I, no, I didn't <laughs> see it. If y'all could, if y'all still have it to watch it back. Really? His little lip. He's a tuba actor for sure. So yeah, it really been genuine. And you know, Dr. Pepper, you know, she fell for it. now. Pastor Cal was not falling for it, but pa Dr. Pepper was like, listen, I don't know who telling base. I don't know who telling the truth. I just okay, we just take it and let's just move on because I guess she wasn't finna get too deep into it because she was like, wait a minute, something not right. Somebody said, yeah, the lip was quivering, honey. It sent me. So, yeah. So, yeah. And Pastor Cal, earlier in the season, he told, uh, I think he told Brennan, uh, not Brennan, or um, Emily and, oh, yeah, Emily and Brennan. I, mm -hmm. I call BS, or I see BS. Like, he was right. really upset. So, I feel like he was going into the rest of the season, like, knowing, okay, this is some bull. Oh, yeah, for sure. So, yeah. Well, that's yeah. it, right? Yeah, that's that's it, and that's yeah. it. Oh, uh, okay. Let's go off on this note. So, what do you think about the new season in Chicago, Liz? Okay, wait a minute. I'm sorry. So, do y'all think that y'all gonna watch where are they now? Do y'all think this gonna happen? I'm sorry. This is my last thing. Like, Claire done lost some weight, yeah. Y'all think because the rumor is supposed to be, and I know Kay told me this from Millennium Mom that Michael and Lauren supposed to have been hooked up. Wow, oh, that would explain yeah. why Claire was so upset. Chloe, 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 yeah. Sorry, Claire, yeah. Chloe, all of them that, yeah, that yeah. Chloe was upset. And I mean, there had to be a reason, an additional reason why there was friction between all of them as well. Because her, her reason about the wearing the purple when they're wearing pink, it sounded real, Damn. real shady. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, good for them, right. So, um, gotta, but yeah, because cause you got to watch this because I'm going to watch it and I expect to watch it with y'all on your review. What, Chicago? No, the Chicago and the one next week. Oh, next week. Yeah, we'll watch it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Eddie going to watch it, Chad. He just be talking, honey. He just be talking. <laughs> oh, watch it. That ain't no problem. Yeah, because gonna... yeah, I want to go and see uh, this uh, train wreck, honey, of a show. But yeah, so let's see. Uh, so yeah, these going to be the Chicagoans, the Chicago ends. So yeah, these is the Chicago. Yeah, nah, the Chicago got some spice. They got some flavor in Chicago. Ooh, 
look at all they that They definitely players. look like models or actors. Oh, yeah, they do. They do. Oh, yeah, now that you say that. Now, see, don't be getting my brain. And, um, yeah, they're like on some hit shots right there, for real, for real. They do. They look like they on the novella. Mm. But you know what? Now, if they getting these people off of IG and stuff like that, then you know they probably mm. already got a follow. Oh yeah, yeah. and mm. stuff like that. So yeah, let's see who next. I don't know about him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> you can tell the the, the quality, the difference, the quality of pictures between that right, first couple right. and them never ever met. Right, right, right. Them never okay. ever met. Them, them is regular people. <laughs> yeah. Now, David, ordinary people. David yeah. look like he's mixed. Something. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah, yeah. He looked like he fun now. Yeah. That picture looked like he fun. Now Michelle, on the other hand, I don't know. She, she might be the new Karen. Of she, this season. she got like she, she, yeah. Anyway, mm-hmm. she asking for so the manager. Yeah, I don't get that from her. You don't get what you get it from her. Then she like black men. No, nah, I don't get that from. Mm-hmm. Her. You, you don't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. Now somebody said Allen looked like Brennan. I said, "Oh Lord, he, he look like he a, he like Allen like he's from Russia, man. God, he like Russian. He got Russian. Like Brennan, Brennan, yeah, like Putin. Right? Huh? Yeah, he do like Putin. <laughs> he did. <laughs> he sure do like Putin. <laughs> from Russia, yeah, Russian president. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Somebody yeah. said Insta recruits. Yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, Madison looks cute. So yeah, yeah. Um, let's see who needs who needs. Mm. And he look like Orlando. What's his name from Disney? Orlando, Orlando Brown. Yeah, that's what. <laughs> <laughs> he, looked, no, he was like uh, like Orlando Brown and Grant Hill. Yeah, he does. He does. Oh my gosh! Please don't, because Orlando <laughs> Brown. Uh-uh, now nah, we talking about an epic season, child. <laughs> Y'all think Chris from Mad at First Sight, child? If he ain't like Orlando Brown, honey, it's a wrap. <laughs> so yeah, mm-hmm. what y'all feel about Camille? Eh, commit kind of look like Vanessa a little bit. They said David and Michelle don't look like a good match. Yeah, okay. Camille kind of look like Vanessa a little bit. That smile, Vanessa. Mm-hmm. She's cute. She's cute. Yeah, y'all make sure that y'all like this video and share it. We we are about to be out of here, honey. We gonna go look at these Chicago wins. Okay, so let me go to the next slide. Um, what was that it? Yeah. Oh yeah, we got one more right here. Yeah. Oh, right here. Oh, the, yeah, oh, the right. black people. Ikechi and what happened to it? Hey, yeah, yeah, they don't want to see the black people. <laughs> <laughs> it went away. What Discrimination. Get rid of all this DI. Why are you up there for? Because that was the. Uh, oh. It went back. Maya, she tried to take your mic. <laughs> <laughs> I am not. Um, it went back, and so you know, got too many. But uh, but yeah, so it's it's moving slow because mm-hmm. we do. I'm doing too much. But um, but yeah. So what y'all think? Um, so yeah, I, I'm excited about Chicago. Yeah, Chicago looks like it's gonna have something going on for it. Yeah. So it looks like it's gonna bring us a little some something, something. So yeah. Okay. Let me. I got it back. Hold on. Then we're gonna go and get out of here. It, 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 can't, it can't, can't be worse than Denver. Can't be. Oh man, you can go to Gulfport, Mississippi, can be worse than them. Yeah, they like a cute couple. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It says hair on his head. Yeah. Oh. What is how you pronounce that? Come on, Kichi. I think I know Kichi. I don't know M M M M M M. So we got some um some culture. Are you think they Jamaican Indians Africans? Which I probably like first generation African. Yeah, I, I I would go with. Oh, that. I would like to see that, especially if they still have an accent and stuff. Oh, that should be real interesting. They have a uh, Michael and well, they owe us from um Denver, child. They been put all culture, all mix of people, all everything in Chicago. They gonna have Michael and what's the name for now? They fiance on there. What you doing there, Michael? <laughs> <laughs> Liz, that wife said, uh, oh, well, I can't, I can't watch that because was that the one where the man don't have no neck? Is that that one? Yeah, yeah, that's that's part a, of the, yeah. The, the, I can't, I can't watch it. And then yeah, there was Michael the, came, the, got, he, came, he came, got him a green card. But well, Michael is the black man that was married to the white lady, the older white lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He, I, he finally like, came over here, and when he got over here, she thought she had a new man. So, like, two weeks later, he disappeared. <laughs> 
He was with another woman. Yeah, he was with another woman. Yep. He went and he hit. And he yeah, 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 yeah. I got my green card. Forget you. But she reported him as missing because she thought he was missing. Yeah, but missing yeah. right. That was like that girl in uh, Alabama, Carly. Went missing. Yes, Lord. Let's <laughs> made us look bad, child. Made us look bad, honey. Up here doing the most over here. But yeah. But we appreciate you, cousin Lee. Yeah, this has been fun. Yeah. It's been fun. I, the the co ed kinfolk, we, we love y'all. Right, we, we love y'all back. Appreciate y'all. Man. You know, I love some of y'all back. Some of y'all get on my dang on nerves. We love you anyway. If you, you can't stop us, we love you and you can't. Nothing about it, cousin. I'm sleeping now, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get the, the, the Petty Eddie. We yeah. need that. We need that that shirt. That, oh yeah, we're gonna get that. We're gonna get that Petty Eddie for him. So yeah, yeah. we appreciate you, appreciate and you, we appreciate y'all. Check. We appreciate y'all. Thanks. Shout out to the mods. Make sure that y'all like this video and everything. And um, so yeah, my son called me. All right, y'all have a wonderful night, and we will see you guys on the next video. As we say at the end of every video, don't forget to go with God and let God go with you. Always put God first. Do say. Always put God first.